Aquarius, hi, welcome to your read. We're going to be looking at your tarot for this week. These are YouTube general reads. Take what resonates, leave the rest for everybody else. Also, if you'd like a personal read, feel free to reach out to me. My email's in the description below. Let's get started for you, Aquarius. Nine of Swords, Queen of Chalices, Five of Wands, The Devil, The Lovers, Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands, Eight of Chalices, Nine of Chalices. Is being challenged by the Hermit here. Um, something has you in your head here. Um, you're not getting sleep. Maybe this is a, a lot of panicking here. But was your there's a wish fulfillment here that's been fulfilled for you. I feel like you've had wish fulfillment. Um, but it's kind of caused you some sort of pain or some sort of nightmare here. I don't know what this is. We'll figure this out. This is definitely an Aquarius read. What you're here about at the read is expressing emotion towards something. Uh, you're finding it a little difficult to express emotions or maybe somebody that you like or care about is finding it hard to express emotions. Uh, what could it be? In the past, it was Knight of Wands. Whatever this was got started too fast. I'm just going to say with the Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands has a very bad rep, but I feel like, you know, I dig Knight of Wands. I'm a fire sign, obviously, so... But maybe, you know, when you had air and fire, that Aquarian air and fire, like, you know, something got there too fast and got out of control. Your strength here is five of wands. I feel like you're a little bit nippy about how you, you choose your words with this person here. Choosing your words wisely with whatever this is, is very recommended for you. Um, what's going on here in the upcoming energy is the devil. Like, this is just things that are just, you keep doing over and over. You keep repeating these things over and over. Um... And it may be a play on your mind. It may be a play on, I don't know. This is just like patterns, right? Maybe things that your person doesn't like when you do, right? Or, you know, I wouldn't say snoring, but maybe there's things that your person does that you don't like or, and snoring, right? What's being hidden from you is lovers. There's a lot of love here. There is definitely a lot of love. So why can't we just be happy with that? There's a lot of love showing up for you here. Um, Seven of Wands here, though, is uh, your suggested approach. You know, uh, tackle this and, you know, go towards the risky things. You know, if these things seem kind of risky because they started too fast, that may have put you in your head and you're like, nah, this isn't going to work. Well, you know, go towards those things and really take a risk on what's going on here. And your hopes and fears, you're afraid that somebody's going to drop you here. And, but I think you need to use this as a hope, as in you can take this to the ultimate level and you can actually see the wish fulfillment that's here. You can actually see that through. You know, and Eight of Chalices in the upcoming future, not a good card for what's showing me here. But this is kind of like emotionally walking away from something. The mind is a very scary play on how we project the world outside of us here. So, like, there may be a lot of fear, but I feel like you can get through this here because what you wanted just kind of showed up here in your world. What, Whatever this is. Let's see what this Nine of Chalices is about. The Empress, Two of Pentacles, Judgment. Um, somebody may have had to make a decision about two people here. And it seems like when this decision was made, it kind of went in your favor. The problem is if you're forcing an outcome on what somebody else is trying to think, or you're trying to use emotional things to get something started fast, or even worse yet with the Knight of Wands, maybe you use sex or you use something, you know, along those lines of persuading somebody to make their decision. That could have caused something here. Three of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Page of Pentacles. Right, it's it's still on the level of the page, right? This Whatever this Knight of Wands is. It, it is looking like something can be built here and something can move forward. Because if you start something and it starts off fast, you got to realize you got to kind of see it through till the end here. I feel like you do that. Let's see what the Five of Wands 
King of Wands, Nine of Chalices, Knight of Wands. Uh, yeah. It may be the past person, like, coming back to, like, take your person away or something like that. And I feel like, you know, your wish fulfillment, you know, it's your wish fulfillment. No one's going to take anything away from you if you're afraid of that. Or if you know that there was another person before you, you're afraid that that person shows up. I don't know what that's about. Let's see what the devil. Ace of chalices, four of chalices, five of pentacles. Yeah, the devil. See, like... There's a blockage of emotion here when you overthink things. And what's happening here is that that kind of leaves your person out in the cold here. Now, for some of you, this isn't your person's old person. This is your old person that did this to you. And let's clarify that Seven of Wands with the Queen of Chalices, Nine of Pentacles, and the Tower Yeah, like, this is definitely you blocking out something, you know, you're trying to block out, push people away, like, you know, just take your time over there, you know, that type of stuff, you're definitely blocking that out. Of course, you need you time, I see that, um, just realize that a lot of you time and a lot of being selfish kind of causes a tower moment here, um, and I don't like the upcoming future here for you. Personally, I don't like that Eight of Chalices at the end. Now hopefully it's just taking a break here. Let's see what the Eight of Chalices, the Magician, Ten of Chalices, Ace of Swords. Oh, okay, I like that better. This is you walking away emotionally from that old thing, whatever that was, into a new thing here, a new story, a new chapter, manifesting a very healthy relationship with the Magician, the Ten of Chalices, and the Ace of Sword. This even looks like a marriage for some of you. <clears throat> I know not all of you are into the marriage thing, but this looks very healthy. It looks like a very uh, good way to manifest things, and it's definitely, once you stop doing the whole pushing people away because uh, you're afraid of what their past was or you're afraid of what past may come back i mean i think that just kind of keeps you in your head now you're being challenged here with the uh, i'm sorry not the hierophant but the hermit to you know introspect a little bit introspect a little bit about these worries you have and i feel like that gives you a better result here um let's pull three cards from the universe for your advice and we'll end your read there Aquarius yeah the mind can be a very scary place for you but you're gonna be okay I know I see it in the cards Hierophant Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess Yeah, this is like figure out what you want and follow your intuition towards the things that look stable now. You know, just realize, you know, your intuition may be kind of like just overthinking at first, but this needs to turn into intuition now. And realize that the people that solidify something with you are there for the long run, not for the short term. But you got to use that intuition, you know, otherwise, you know, that could just end up falling apart because of the overthinking. And you did have the devil here, I think. Yes, you did. So, just be careful with that. And that's all I got for you, Aquarius. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.